Hello everyone. Hello everyone. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. Um, thank you for all your attention on our last video and we are very happy that it's helping you somehow. Um, it really takes us time to come to many of these conclusions but you guys are also helping us sharing your experiences as well so keep to spread on doing the message. that and not only like if you share your experiences on the comments and stuff <laughs> this helps also our observations and the comparisons with ourselves and other to have people. people alike and to know that uh, it's not just us it's also you guys going through it it's good yeah to know. but also for our uh, conclusions yes and stuff like this mm -hmm. <laughs> downloads whatever you want to call them today we want to uh, touch up on uh, a very interesting topic um, that is quite i think quite popular in the twin flame community and not only generally uh, between partners and this is the narcissistic behavior and the differences actually between the narcissist in the authentic twin flame we already spoke something similar about it but we never put this uh, narcissistic <laughs> narcissistic <laughs> i don't know how to say this word it's a funny word yeah um title we never did but uh, <clears throat> what we spoke was that um, many people think uh, that uh, in their relationship some people they have a, like abusive uh, behavior between each other on the in, inside their couple and they think uh, that this is correlated with uh, being a twin flame for example because uh, mm -hmm. there's too much stress and stuff it's not exactly like this if there is only misery in your relationship it's not twin flames because mm -hmm. twin flames experience both it's normal so we, we really do encourage you if you identify yourself being in a narcissistic relationship there's no point guys you are just torturing yourself and uh, we are here on this journey for self-love as well it is very important we yep. have to be kind to ourselves and if this partner cannot be kind to you and to themselves as well because people who are not kind to others they're usually not really kind to themselves either um, the narcissistic uh, most of the times they look at themselves only and I think well yes <laughs> that's but a thing. it's also a fake thing because yes. it's uh, uh the deep core of that is lack um a very deep sensation of self-love mm -hmm. and it looks like they looks love like. themselves a lot but actually they they don't but anyways how to recognize the narcissistic behavior uh from the authentic twin flame <laughs> well, it's a actually very powerful uh, topic here, and uh, I'm very happy we are touching on it. Yeah, Let's spend. we are just gonna uh, touch up on one very essential moment on this, but uh, we feel that the, it's the basic one, and it really uh, is enough to tell the difference and to know uh, if you are in a narcissistic relationship or not instead of a uh, authentic twin flame relationship mm -hmm. yeah. yeah where we are looking for love i mean and respect you know this video will be more directly to the point but uh, most of our videos actually uh, if you listen carefully there's always uh, the authentic part and the non-authentic mm -hmm. part constantly we say this because it's almost impossible to you know it's so and we are not easy. doing this for judgmental purposes no, no, no. or whatsoever our disclaimer it's uh, <laughs> it's really to to help us yes all um to figure out where we are in this journey at what stage what we actually do is we put ourselves in your position and mm -hmm. it must be horrible to uh, be indecisive or not know what what is going on and to be confused we want to make things more clear right so let's dig into this deeper and <laughs> uh, put up on the table what's the most essential part of all this that we want to say. Now, 
all kind of relationships they're not just bread and butter you know don't know <laughs> <laughs> they're not smooth uh all the time uh and we all have moments uh when we fight whether it's uh small fights or bigger fights it doesn't matter but we all have these moments of misunderstanding now within the twin flame uh connection this mostly comes from uh being so you know uh different if you really want to say it's more like it's even like um the one uh, has the right side of the brain as dominant and the other has the left side of the brain dominant and just because of this we see everything uh from a different perspective uh so it is natural that misunderstandings will uh happen especially at the mo- at the beginning um because uh we are in a period of transition of adjusting to each other so the authentic uh, twin flame relationship as soon as i tell you i'm pretty sure you will understand uh, the vibe and how easy it is to differentiate but of course when we don't hear it uh, from anyone else speaking and we are all by ourselves it starts to become difficult because you know how life yeah. is family lots of thoughts and whatever and you and before you notice you really don't know what's going on and if uh, this journey is right for you or not so the authentic relationship uh, within twin flames it's uh, it's amazing it's a part uh, sorry i use some portuguese words from time to time <laughs> it's uh, beautiful there is uh, even when they fight yes even when they fight but uh, there is a, a special thing though when you are fighting you will feel that uh, it's all uh, for the better i don't know how to explain this better but uh, when something happens this that is happening to you it's actually good for your growth and you have to experience that because you need to grow if you don't experience that you will become like any other couple uh, that don't evolve they are constantly stuck and in the matrix blah 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 However, <laughs> it can be a uh, very exhausting, uh, you know, uh, that you have to go through the stress and everything. But uh, always remember that you truly truly love this person and your twin flame also truly truly loves you if it is authentic. And after the ending of each stress, uh, you will notice that you will you actually just want all this to finish and come back to the love mm-hmm. both of you will have this thought yeah one of you might be a little bit you know uh, more um, stingy in uh, <laughs> coming back to the love but once they melt that's it you guys are back together stronger than ever and you just don't uh, wish anything else in this world only you and your twin flame that's the authentic part yes and um the most significant thing here is that the authentic twin flame uh compared to the narcissistic uh partner is uh, is still going to care for you even when you are in misunderstanding um so there's the love is still there in the background mm-hmm. yes um they would not go and um talk behind your back or you know try to win over uh friends acquaintances family against you in such moments as the narcissistic behavior is exactly into this because they want to uh feel pre- uh, you know to have the people um, be on their side let's say so they would go and talk to any person that you guys know together or whatever um just to win them on their side Wow. in this miscommunication mm-hmm. um and this is a very important um way very interesting and very significant way to uh, distinguish the narcissistic behavior um you you're actually um losing on life when you are with the narcissistic person uh, instead when you are with your true twin flame you're actually winning you think uh, you're losing but once you figure out that uh, what i just spoke after you uh, you overcome a certain stress between two twin flames 
uh, you will grow exponentially and you will become much better. Everything will be amazing. Mm-hmm. As with the narcissistic, uh, everything slows down. And it's like uh, you mm-hmm. have an enemy instead of, instead of a true friend. Instead of growing, you are just you just keep on going shrinking, down. Shrinking, shrinking, shrinking. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, yeah, we we really hope you're not in uh, something like this. And like we said at the beginning, if you are, love yourselves. You really need that. Yes. And we we don't need to be. Uh, destroyed by something like this, such a relationship. I had a download, like, no matter what you do in a narcissistic relationship, uh, for to help as much as possible to come out from the hole, you keep on shrinking and sinking. As with the truth to inflame, you think there's a big barrier because you will have uh, subconscious problems between the two of you. And... Um, you think like uh, there's a big wall and you, you don't know how to bypass, but as soon as you bypass and you uh, remove your fears, you will see that you are so much taller. I don't know how to explain. You're, you are expanding. Your aura is expanding with the narcissistic. You are uh, just becoming small, like a small little soul. Mm-hmm. In, like Until insignificant. you feel that you are almost um, disappearing. Yeah. That's it. We really hope this uh, will help you in one or another way. And we love you and <laughs> we hope that you love yourselves as much as we do at least. Yes. Super very nice. Yes. We love you, we hug you, and we are here for you. Let us know in the comments how you're doing. Right yep. Now. Or if you need help, we are here for you like Andres said. Lots of love. Lots of love. Thank you. See you soon. See you.